Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. In the last video of Gmail uh, automation using UiPath, we have seen how you can uh, configure this POC3 and IMAP and how you can uh, create a secure password uh, using the password generator. And we have seen how you can send emails using SMTP protocol and the activity that is available in uh, UiPath. So today we are going to see how you can uh, get the emails from the gmail account by providing the credentials and how you can use that uh, uh, get imap mail messages as well as get pop3 mail messages to get the mails from your account okay so in the first video we have seen how to automate the send uh, mails from your gmail account and today's uh, video we are going to see how you can get the uh, emails from your account okay so suppose if you're going for an end-to-end -end automation for uh, if there is any uh, mailing requirement you have to learn these steps to complete your automation so what i'm going to do is uh, uh, i have already commented out the uh, send smtp mail message which we created in the first video if you haven't seen the first video just go to that and understand how you can configure uh, the pop3 and imap in your uh, gmail account okay so today uh, we're going to see what is po get pop3 mail message and get imap mail message so let me pull this get pop3 uh, mail messages activity okay so uh, in the first video we have already seen what is the uh, main difference between pop3 as well as uh, imap protocol so both these protocols we can use for getting the mail from your uh, ma uh, mail account but uh, there is a big difference between both these uh, uh, protocols okay uh, uh, when compared to pop3 imap is the latest uh, protocol and it has more advantages when compared to uh, pop3 so uh, here we have uh, drag and drop this particular activity right get pop3 and these are the properties for this uh, activity and uh, if you check here itself we can uh, get only few of the properties right like uh, or we have to provide server we have to provide then the email address and all but there is no option for uh, mark the emails as uh, uh, read email or uh, there is no uh, categorization available like uh, which mailbox that we want to read uh, uh, okay so uh, those kind of categorizations are not available with the pop3 mail message so what i'm going to do is uh, just provide this uh, port number so from where we can get this uh, port number for this pop3 for that just go to uh, this particular link okay so this uh, link i have already shared in the first video description uh, i will do the same thing in this uh, video also okay so you can refer to the document which i have provided in the description to get these uh, details so once you log into this uh, link here you have to go to read gmail me uh, messages using pop pop okay so just scroll down here you will get the server details okay incoming mail pop server just copy the server name uh, okay so just put it here put it inside uh, double quotes and what is the port number port number is 995 for a pop 3 protocol so just put it and uh, what is the email id so these details just copy paste from uh, the uh, last workflow so I'm just going to copy paste the same thing okay and uh, in the first video I have shown you how to create this password using the password generator uh, if you are not sure just uh, watch that video and try to understand how you can uh, create an alternate password with your uh, uh, gmail password okay so let me copy paste it okay so that part is done uh, then what else is uh, here uh, delete message suppose if you want to delete the message after reading you can uh, enable this one I'm not going to enable this and a secure connection yes uh, I'm just retaining the same or if you have any SSL on connect uh, connection you can uh, mark this option or start is or start is when available okay so these are the different connection methods so I'm just retaining the auto and here uh, you can uh, get the number of mail messages uh, based on your requirement by default it is 30 so i'm just keeping it like a uh, 5 okay 
and here it is asking for one uh, variable okay so this will uh, hold the uh, mail messages uh, which is retrieving from this uh, activity okay so it will be having uh, the five uh, messages which is uh, going to read using this uh, get pop3 mail message activity so i'm going to create a new variable uh, i'm going to name it like um, gmail messages okay so let's go to variables and see what is a variable type okay so this is list of uh, mail messages okay so in this variable will be holding a list of uh, uh, messages or that is there in our uh, account or in the inbox okay so um, so currently we got list of messages right uh, let me pull a for each loop okay so i'm going to pull a for each loop and i'm going to put gmail messages okay so uh, in the message box i will show you the uh, message or the uh, subject of that particular message okay message box here what i have to do item dot mm, okay so currently the uh, our type argument for this item is a object okay that's why it is not showing any uh, mail properties okay so what we have to do is go to this type argument and change it to system.net.mail.message okay if you couldn't find it just go to browse for type type for system.net uh, mail okay so just go inside this and you have to choose mail message okay so that's it and if you click on uh, and if you put a dot here and just put on a uh, control space here it will show you all the properties regarding the uh, mail okay so you can get the headers or is body html like that different validations that you can do and uh, the subject of the mail or the two address all those details you can uh, get it in the mailbox okay when you convert the type argument to a uh, mail messages mm. so let me show you the subject right subject of the message dot to string okay uh, let me execute it so it will read the uh, mails from my uh, inbox and it will show the subject for the mails but here the problem is like there is no categorization available like we we can't give uh, our required uh, mailbox name uh, to get the uh, uh, mails okay so that is one main limitation with pop3 also uh, you cannot use uh, this uh, pop3 uh, protocol in uh, different uh, machines okay so that is one uh, main uh, drawback with pop3 like uh, suppose if i have logged into gmail and if i uh, mark or if i delete a few of the emails from my uh, account it will not get a reflect if you're going for the pop3 okay so it works like a, it will download the message to your uh, local and from there it will uh, start reading the mail messages okay so let me click on okay so it will show you the first uh, five mail messages okay so that is done so this is how you can use the get pop3 to automate your uh, gmail so as i mentioned this is the uh, old uh, protocol so if you're going to do automation i will suggest you to go with the imap okay so let me comment out uh, both these uh, uh, activities okay so we have seen how to use a uh, uh, imap sorry a uh, pop3 for getting the mails from gmail so let me show you how to use uh, imap for uh, retrieving the mails from your uh, gmail account okay so i drag and drop this get uh, imap mail message here there is an option for providing the mail folder which folder that you want to retrieve uh, 
so uh, currently in my mailbox i have around uh, 25000 plus mails uh, which are untrained so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a spam mail okay i think around these some uh, 60 mails are available so i'm going to use this as a folder and uh, what is the port name that we need to provide so just go to this document <coughs> go back here uh, you can get that uh, details what is the port number 993 just put it over there what is the server name imm.gmail.com just put it inside the double quotes and uh, this client name uh, uh, client version and all if there is any specific client name and client version you can provide those details uh, so uh, here i am not going to provide uh, anything the email id email id i am going to get it from here then this password also uh, i'm copying and uh, paste it over here in the password section okay so that part is done and what else is there a uh, delete message if you want to delete the message you can do that and if you want to uh, filter the emails based on some expression like uh, if you want to uh, filter it based on some subject like sub subject is like a new uh, order or something you can uh, uh, filter that expression over here then it will filter out only those uh, messages okay and uh, if it is based on mm, filter expression character set then uh, you can use this particular property and if you want to mark the mail after uh, reading as mark as read you, you can just enable this and uh, uh, this is only 100 message so all these things that you can mark it out okay and uh, there is a separate uh, tab available for uh, ordering the uh, email okay so this is not available in pop3 so here you can categorize like which mail that you want to read whether it is from the first uh, or the newest mail or it is based on the oldest uh, first okay so i'm going to keep it as like a newest first uh, secure condition is yes. then top 30 uh, let it read the top 30 or i'm going to make it like a 10 okay and uh, here we have one output uh, variable uh, let me create a new variable um, imap messages okay let's see what is a variable type again it created a uh, variable with a list of a mail message okay so let's use the same uh, process for retrieving the uh, emails from this uh, list of uh, uh, messages so i'm going to use for loop for each just put that imap messages okay and we have to change the type argument to uh, system.net dot mail dot mail messages then we need to show the output in a uh, mail message right message box right so i'm going to add a message box okay so here what we have to do okay item item dot item dot and uh, in this if you're going to use this protocol you can see more number of uh, uh, properties that you are getting right when compared to pop3 okay mm, so what i'm going to do is okay so let me use the subject itself uh, dot to string let me save it and try to execute mm, there is some error message the requested folder could not be found okay so i think we cannot use a spam uh, mailbox to uh, do the automation uh, as it can affect the uh, security so let me change it to inbox and i will show you one sample uh, trial execution so let me 
change this uh, top number to top one okay so i'm going to get only one nominal message let me save it just run it okay so it has to take the first mail message it has to show this particular uh, message like uh, power bi course cyber monday deal okay so our execution is uh, executed uh, fine so this is how you need to use the get imap mail messages for uh, getting the uh, mails okay Okay, so we have seen how you can use this uh, uh, IMAP activity for getting the uh, email uh, from your inbox and you can use it in your uh, workflow. Let me show you like uh, if there is any attachment in your mail and if you want to save it, save that attachment to your local, how you can do that. For that, uh, let's search for save. Okay, here you will get an activity called save attachment. Okay, so just copy paste that activity and before that uh, let me add a condition okay for that i'm going to use if uh, okay and what i'm going to do is if item dot subject dot equals okay so uh, for this uh, email attachment downloading a demo i uh, already sent a email okay uh, to my uh, own uh, inbox with a subject auto uh, bot demo and uh, there is an attachment over there with the uh, file name test.jpg uh, okay so let me use the subject name auto bot demo auto bot demo okay so if the subject of the email is like auto bot demo it has to save the attachment right so let me cut and paste this activity over here and what should be the mail message it should be item right and what is this test must be uh, uh, quoted or here we have this folder path right this is nothing but where you want to save your uh, file okay so i'm going to save it inside this folder so let me copy this path and just put it inside a double quotes okay so this is the folder path so let me execute this and if you want to overwrite uh, uh, if any existing file just enable this so i'm going to enable this and if you want to filter the email based on some condition you can uh, write down the condition over here okay so let me run this file here already we have one file okay test.jpg and uh, this file has to uh, overwrite now message box execution is completed and here you can see uh, a new file got uh, uh, overwritten on top of the existing one right so this is how you can use the save attachment for uh, downloading the attachment uh, in your uh, mail messages okay so hope this uh, video is useful and uh, I, I hope you got a thorough understanding of what is port 3 and uh, imap and how you can utilize these activities in your uh, email automation so don't forget to uh, like the video please give your valuable comments and please share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye